Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming, and today we're gonna see if we can run Cyberpunk 2077 on Linux. So let's get started. So the system we're gonna be using today is my Ryzen 7 1700 with an AMD RX 570 graphic card, 16 gigs of RAM and 512 NVMe M.2. And it's on a fresh install of 2010. And the only thing I did was the previous tutorials I actually put on this channel for just getting the graphic drivers working and Steam installed. So popping over into my desktop, you could see uh, I got the 16 core, 2010. The kernel I'm using is 5.8. And I'm on an older motherboard, which is the B350M and 16 gigs of RAM, obviously, like I said before. So I'm not gonna put you through the torture of me installing it because you know it's 70 gigs. So I'm just gonna run Steam, get it installed, and then I'll jump to that point in time, so let's go. All right, so here we go, we have the launcher and it seems like it started up without a hitch. I did nothing. The only thing I'm using is the latest version of Proton that they offer on Steam. And that is it. I mean, the launcher at least works. So I'm gonna hit play to see if it actually will start the game. Uh, okay, that's a good sign. It's actually starting the game. I did put the FPS counter that comes with uh, Steam on top, if you could see that. Um, as far as audio and everything, it seems to be working. Uh, I mean, I have to get through these screens. I'm doing like 70 frames per second. That's not bad at all. Let's see if it actually plays or if it falls, you know, bugs out or something like that. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a video file, but it seems to be working. Let's see if I can load into a game. Now, keep in mind, um, I've only played this game for about two hours, so I'm still very, very in the beginning of this game. So I'm getting 178 frames and let's go over to settings, check out graphics. I'm on high, high, field of view. Uh, these are all the things I got. Medium, high, okay. Obviously I have no ray tracing because my graphic card has no ray tracing. So these things are off. So now you get the idea of what setting I am on. Let's hit continue game. Everything's loading. It loaded. Okay. I'm in my apartment, you know, right after you do the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm supposed to be going to sleep, but... It runs really smooth. I'm getting 30 frames per second on this RX 570 graphic card. 34 frames per second. 31, yeah, that, that it's actually running really smooth. I mean, it's still 30 frames per second, so there should be a lot more just to make it smoother, but I had to do nothing in this game to get it to go. I mean, I did not have to do any like glorious egg roll um, patch or anything, it just worked. So, kind of sitting in one spot, 38 frames per second. It's not the highest, but again, this is not like the craziest graphic card. This is equivalent to like what, a 1060? Or, no, not even a 1070, like a 1060. That's what it's equivalent to. So being able to even play this game in Linux using this graphic card and walking around like this, I am amazed. Anything I could pick up here? Wow. I'm actually very surprised. I wish more games would just work like this. Install and run. I don't have to do anything. And that's it. I mean, there's not much to it. I ended up playing for another 20 minutes afterwards just to make sure if it doesn't crash or anything. And it didn't, it, it, was, it worked fine. I had no issues whatsoever. I didn't have to do anything to the game to get it to work. So I say this is a 10 out of 10. Anyway, if you guys have any other games you want me to test, let me know down in the comments below and I'll give it a try and see what I could do to get it to work. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.